Rumors about the upcoming iPhone 16 and iPhone 16 Pro models are spreading rapidly, despite Apple's recent launch of the iPhone 15 just a few weeks ago. These next-generation phones are anticipated to be available in stores in September 2024, yet speculations about a phone slated for the following year are already emerging. While it's still early in the development process, there are murmurs suggesting that the iPhone 16 and iPhone 16 Plus models could receive an increase in RAM. In contrast, the iPhone 16 Pro and iPhone 16 Pro Max are rumored to undergo significant camera enhancements that could captivate consumers. Let's delve into what is arguably the most crucial aspect of iPhone design, the screen. Since the iPhone 12, there haven't been any major changes in display sizes. However, a trusted source, Unknowns 21, suggests that the higher-end iPhone 16 models will have slightly larger and potentially less manageable screen sizes. In terms of display, it's said that the iPhone 16 Pro will feature a 6.3-inch screen, while the iPhone 16 Pro Max will come with a 6.9-inch display. You might be wondering, what about the regular iPhone 16 and iPhone 16 Plus? Will they also see a screen size increase? The answer is likely to be no, as the lower tier models are expected to maintain the same display sizes as their predecessors. Although solid state buttons were originally supposed to be included in the iPhone 15 Pro models, Apple decided against it and instead included a customizable action button. For those who are unfamiliar, solid state buttons are panels that simulate pressing a real button by using haptic feedback. They are akin to the home button on the iPhone SE series. Reputable Apple leaker and analyst Ming Chi Kuo claims that solid state buttons are presently being developed by Apple for use in the next generation of iPhone 16 Pro models. Additionally, Ku said that two more tactic engines will be incorporated into these solid state buttons to improve the tactile feedback that users receive. As per information from Weibo, as reported by McCrumers, it is suggested that the action button on the iPhone 16 Pro will be transformed into a solid-state button and will be flush with the phone's chassis. To accommodate this alteration, Apple is said to be relocating the millimeter wave antenna from the right side of the iPhone 16 Pro to the left. This tip from Waymo is attributed to a leaker known as Instant Digital, who has claimed to have a reliable history of providing accurate information, according to McCrumers. With the iPhone 15 Pro Max, Apple introduced a novel zoom lens utilizing a tetraprism design. This innovation essentially involves engineers folding the camera to maintain telephoto capabilities while conserving space. This new camera configuration increased the Pro Max optical zoom from 3x to 5x, however, according to Digital Chat Station, a source on the Chinese social media platform Weibo. Both the iPhone 16 Pro and iPhone 16 Pro Max will incorporate this new tetraprism telephoto camera. Furthermore, Jeff Pu, a tech analyst at Haitong International Securities, a Hong Kong-based investment firm, suggests that the iPhone 16 Pro and iPhone 16 Pro Max models will also feature a 48-megapixel ultrawide camera with improved light-gathering capabilities. This enhancement is anticipated to enhance camera performance in low-light conditions. Currently, the iPhone 15 Pro models are equipped with a 12MP ultrawide camera. The ultrawide camera is particularly useful for capturing expansive landscapes, although it tends to exhibit slightly less sharpness and crispness compared to the primary camera. If this rumor proves accurate, the new 48-megapixel ultrawide camera may address this minor limitation. Lastly, according to Ming-Chi Kuo, Apple plans to improve the iPhone 16 Pro model's rear cameras by adding a stack design. How would a stack design function? It should give Mac Mode a nice boost because according to Apple Insider, it increases light capture and offers a wider dynamic range. The lower tier models, the iPhone 15, are limited to the 6GB of RAM found in their predecessors, while the iPhone 15 Pro and iPhone 15 Pro Max have 8GB of RAM. If that makes you unhappy, that's okay. Who claims that the iPhone 16 and iPhone 16 Plus are anticipated to follow suit with 8GB of RAM. Regarding the chip, there's potentially some disappointing news. According to Jeff Poo, the successor to the A17 Pro chip might be less power efficient. In simpler terms, the iPhone 16 models equipped with this chip could experience a reduction in battery life. This trade-off is due to the next-generation chip's significant performance improvements coming at the expense of power efficiency. While it is not ideal, it's important to remember that this information is based on rumors and we'll have to wait to see if it holds true. In addition to the chip details, the iPhone 16 Pro models are expected to support Wi-Fi 7, whereas the current models support Wi-Fi 6 e Wi-Fi 7 is anticipated to deliver exceptionally fast transfer speeds exceeding 40 Gbps, which is a substantial improvement over the capabilities of Wi-Fi 6e, quadrupling its performance. 
As per Jeff Poo's information relayed by 9 to 5 Mac, the iPhone 16 Pro is expected to feature Qualcomm's Snapdragon X75 modem. This modem has the capacity to achieve a 5G download rate of up to 7.5 Gbps. This indicates a potential advancement in 5G connectivity capabilities for the iPhone 16 Pro. The iPhone 16 Pro is shaping up to be a groundbreaking device with exciting upgrades in camera technology, connectivity, and performance. But we want to hear from you. Which feature are you most looking forward to in the iPhone 16 Pro? Is it the new Tetra Prism telephoto camera, the 48-megapixel ultra-wide lens, or the lightning-fast Wi-Fi 7 support? Or maybe you have your own wish list for the iPhone 16 Pro. Share your thoughts in the comments below, and let's keep the conversation going. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the latest updates on Apple's innovations and other tech news. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.